big guest here for Chainlink Sports Talk. I have Greg Genski, currently, and the new CEO of Vayner Baseball, a new uh, division for Vayner Sports. Um, Greg used to be with uh, Gem Agency, which launched in um, October of 2019, represented a lot of big players like Vernon Wells, CC Sabathia. 2009, he was actually named the Sports Business Daily uh, prestigious 40 under 40 list and he's also negotiated over four billion dollars in player contracts so greg thank you so much for taking the time it's really cool talking with you how you doing uh, really cool to talk to you too nico thanks for having me i appreciate no, it no problem no problem at all so like i said you launched uh gem agency and that wasn't you know your first thing in the uh um sports agency world i know you had a long history there but when you first launched uh gem what was that process like when you first started it well, it was interesting. So yeah, as you as you alluded to, it, Gem was not my first sports agency business. I, I actually started off as a trial lawyer, and my last trial was representing uh, Lee Steinberg and Jeff Morat. So I was able to learn the business from what I consider to be the pioneers of the sports agent business. Yeah, definitely. I was, I was very, very fortunate. And then when I got into the business, I was with a company called Legacy for a long time. So I was the founder of that agency built it into a really, really great agency and really proud of the work we did over the years. Um, I had sold the company as part of an IPO a number of years ago and really was looking forward to uh, being able to start a new agency uh, with the benefit of my 20 years experience in the industry and to really partner with the right kind of people and, and change the paradigm and present a new model for the benefit of professional athletes. And so when I started GEM, that's what I was thinking. What I was thinking was I want I want to partner with the absolute best people. Uh, I want to create a, a new model that's going to foster a new way of representing athletes, uh, combining the experience I had on the contract negotiation side uh, with a, a new approach and a real focus on education. Okay. So like you kind of said, in terms of, uh, you know, you uh, negotiating contracts, what about you or like what have you learned over your 20 year career that's made you such a good negotiator, you know, and also, you know, the big contracts that you've, you know, had for, you know, CC and guys like Vernon Wells. I, th I think that I've certainly been blessed with certain skills that translate to representation, uh, whether it's written advocacy or oral advocacy, uh, whether it's that advocacy as a trial lawyer or in negotiating, it really breaks down to the same thing. It's, it's representing another person and using those communication skills uh, to advance the interests of, of another. So I think those are, are great traits uh, that have helped me in my career as a negotiator. In addition, I think I'm a very good listener, which I think is an essential skill as a negotiator. Most negotiators have a tendency to dominate conversations. Uh, they have a need to fill the silence. A really powerful thing as a negotiator is to really listen to the other side so that you're, you're better able to understand their position and better able to respond to it and to not be afraid of silence allow the other side to talk a little bit. I think those are skills that have helped me in my career negotiating. And like, is that something that you kind of came in with, you know, like kind of, you know, like maybe that's just like your personality or like, did you kind of have like a mentor that kind of walked you through these things over the years? I had, I'm, I'm really fortunate that I've had really great mentors. So as a, first mentor I had on the professional side was a trial lawyer named Brock Gowdy, who, who, re who really taught me how to, to channel uh, my aggressiveness, my uh, combativeness, you know, I had a tendency yeah. that that's my natural tendency as a, as a fighter, a competitor, you know, yep. a former athlete myself. And he really taught me how to channel that and, and how to adopt a, a much better approach. And then also Jeff Morat, uh, one of my mentors as well, taught me a lot about negotiating and, and, and really understanding the whole process and uh, really being a good listener. Awesome. Awesome. So now, Fast forwarding to, you know, even the past couple of weeks, you partnered up with Vayner Sports with the Vaynerchuk brothers. How did that come, you know, into light and, and like, you know, a, a promising situation for both sides? Yeah, well, again, it goes back when I started Gem, the idea was I'm going to use the benefit of my experience to create the best model for representing athletes. And the, the most important thing for me was to partner with the right people. So the first partnership I had was with a former client, Vernon Wells. Uh, former partners on the agent side and Eric Eisen and, and Joe Mizzo. And then I partnered with Tom Hicks and Hicks Equity Partners in terms of my, my business partners, my capital partners who provided a whole additional layer of the offering we can provide to our clients. 
And then the next move, uh, which I'm really, really pleased with and really proud of, was partnering with, with AJ and Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, and again, it's, when I get older, I, 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 I know what you don't know. And a lot of the things that I don't know are the things that Gary and AJ have excelled at for years and really, really led the industry, all kinds of different industries in this area. So they have a very different skill set than what I brought to the table. I'm your traditional lawyer and agent who's done, as you said, four billion in deals. These guys bring a whole new fresh approach yep. uh, that allows us to, in a very honest way to represent our clients. And when I say that, I mean, we, we, are, we are going to embrace the fact that we're teachers. We're going to teach our clients how to use the social media platforms available to them, how to market themselves, how to act as the CEO of their own company. And that, that is what's really powerful about what we're going to do at Banner Sports. Right. And I'm glad you said that because that leaks in exactly to what I want to say next. Um, I was going to ask you, like, what about the Vaynerchucks is going to help you um, grow the baseball division of Vayner Sports? And, you know, like you said, social media marketing. But like, what is it exactly that, you know, they're doing? And then maybe like, why, like, like, didn't you um, incorporate that, you know, in the past? Well, I think that in the past, we've always done good marketing deals. You know, we've all, I, I think I've, I've done some deals I'm really, really proud of, represented players really well. Um, but, you know, the truth is what, what VaynerMedia and what they've opened up is a whole new way of representing companies, representing individuals. And Gary shows that with just how he's built himself uh, into the, the business magnate that he is. And that, that is the model. You know, that, that is the model. It's, yeah. we want to provide athletes with the tools to achieve exactly what they want to achieve. And now not every athlete wants to have a big social media presence or even be super involved in the off the field marketing deals. Uh, but every one of those athletes have things that are very important to them. It might yeah. be charity. Uh, it might be family. There, there are things that are important to them that we can help them build the proper platform, platform to really, really advance those issues. Okay. And then last question I have for you is what, what is the uh, biggest lesson you had to learn when you first um, got into the sports agency business? Cause I remember I talked to a former player, um, Jeff Fry played for the Texas Rangers back in the nineties and he went from playing and then became an agent. He was saying he had trouble, you know, adjusting to the um, cutthroat nature of the business, you know? So that was his kind of um, adjustment period and had to learn, you know, how to get around that, or, you know, how to, you know, um, use that for his own benefit. But, Maybe for you, like, what was the biggest lesson you had to learn um, early on in your career? I think the biggest lesson I, I learned early on in my career is to not get overly focused on uh, the big contract, the big numbers, and the big deals. They're, they're certainly important, and we're going to have our opportunities to get there. But the, the focus really needs to be on the athlete's health, safety, and well-being uh, beyond all else. And it may be that the most lucrative contract is not the best move for a player either in the short term or over their career. And so it's really a, having a holistic approach to representation has got to be the most important thing. Awesome. And, you know, Greg, I'll take your word for it because you are definitely um, the expert 20 years in the business. And it really is an honor talking to you. I really appreciate your time and uh, hope all is well on the West Coast. Well, thank you. Hope all is well on the East Coast as well. Thanks for your time, Nico. Good luck with everything, man. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon.